A couple of years ago, a new social media app was released and soon after gained widespread popularity among high school and college students. It did not take long for the app to find its place on Bethany College's campus. So what exactly is Yik Yak? In um, 2013, 2014, uh, two gentlemen in their dorm room in Furman uh, University decided that they were going to have college-age students talk about maybe class projects or other things. And they wanted it to be an anonymous social media app. Often called the anonymous Twitter, Yik Yak was developed by Tyler Droll and Brooks Buffington. The two met while in college at Furman University. The two began working together to develop the app. They released it shortly after they graduated in 2013. I think it was intended to be used as like a means to get together with people and like maybe hang out or do something, but I don't think it's really been used like that. I think it's pretty bad at Bethany. It like makes a lot of people just talk crap on each or other. Like, oh, this restaurant was good. This, you know, this party's popping kind of thing. I don't necessarily think that it's being used in the way that it was in originally intended to be used at all. In, in reality, it's a small enough school. Even if you take your name off of it, people tend to know who's still saying what. I think that there is a seduction anytime something is anonymous to behave in a different way. I think it very clearly allows people to be mean. To let people know what's going on that you don't know, like in, a, in your area. But I don't feel that it's being used that way. It's being used to put people down. Just anonymous to speak your opinion without, you know, being judged with how, like, just because of, like, someone saying it, people will start judging you. Like judging It's not allowing the campus to really be trusting as much as it once was. I think it's a lot, it's being used to, like, bash people a lot, and I think that's, like, really negative on the campus, or, like, even, like, Greek life, like, bash each other, because you don't know who it's coming from, so, like, it could be, like, a third party doing things. To be just a fun, anonymous social networking app. Be a forum for funny things, but I think that it turned into mean things. To spread a word in a fast and, like, orderly manner. And I think it's also like it's a nice way for people to get a view and a point out there. So that people could post whatever they wanted without being judged. It's being used that way, but not in a positive way. Yik Yak, in a way, is causing some un unnecessary hostility towards some students around here. And it really shouldn't be used that way. It should be like a peaceful way to just meet new people and see what's going on around campus. Such a small community, people can be like called out very easily and, you know, be ridiculed and embarrassed. Where in a larger community, or a bigger city that wouldn't necessarily be relevant. I think it was for people to hook up and people just to like talk poorly on each other. Frankly, I don't think it's being used properly because it's like there's a lot of negativity. Being All it really talks about is Greek life and it like kills Greek life a lot of the time. It's affected Bethany negatively. I mean, personally, I know that I've been talked about. So. I think that I would ban people faster or have like a subject matter so then people wouldn't have to like see what's going on if they didn't want to see it. So like it was about like sports, there'd be a sports yik yak. That there should be a um, word filter. If there are negative words, um, kind of sending words, um, I think that they should be filtered out. A little bit more restrictions with things. Uh, th I feel like things could be a little bit monitored. A little bit better. The only way I think to fix anything in involving a yak is to just get rid of it altogether. Supervise the yaks that are posted, uh, specifically the ones that uh, share people's names or an organization's name. Maybe add on a certain, maybe I guess like a screen name, like what you're seeing, like AIM or Yahoo, to point out certain users. I don't think that it should even be used. Give a longer period between when you post a yak and when it actually shows up on the page because it'll give them more time to review said post and ensure that it will actually be appropriate i mean i've seen like yik yaks on twitter and those are like so much more those are funnier okay would you call a group of kangaroos a kangaroo or a kangaroo crew i wish that type of yik yak was here <laughs>